What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to create users, profiles, and followers for our Twitter app with Django and Python. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to set up users, profiles, and followers for our Twitter app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we set up the main website of our Twitter clone. We're calling it Musker. Instead of tweets, we have Meeps, Musker Meeps, whatever. In this video, we're going to start to set up users, give those users profiles, and allow those profiles to follow each other. Now, we're first going to set this up on the back end in the admin section so that we can do it manually. And then later on, we'll do it on the actual website so people can actually sign up on the website themselves. But just to get it started, we want the mechanism in place, and that's what we're going to build in this video. So first thing we need to do is create our super user. You always do that when you create a Django project. We didn't do that in the last video. I saved it for this video. So let's head over to the terminal, and let's control C to break out because we had our server running. And here, first we want to migrate our server. So let's go Python manage.py, migrate. And you always do this the first time you create any Django project just to get all the user stuff that comes with Django migrated. Now we need to create a super user. Now I'm using Windows and Git Bash, so I need to use the winpty command. If you're on a Mac or Linux, you can leave off the winpty thing and then just type in Python manage.py create super user, all one word. And it's gonna say, what's your username? I'm gonna type in admin, email address, whatever, john at codemy.com and then a password. And then it's gonna ask you to type in the password again so that they match and your super user has been created. So now let's Python manage.py run server to run our server. And let's head back over here, hit reload, make sure everything's running, looks okay. So now let's go to the admin area. Just type in slash admin here and log in with that username and password you just created. So, okay, this is our admin section. We can see we have users, we only have one. There's an email listed, first name, last name, staff status. We want to for now get rid of all of this stuff. We just want their username for now. We'll make it a little more complicated later on. Also this groups thing, we don't need this. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that just for fun, just to show you how to do it. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our admin.py section here. And we're already importing admin, but we also want from Django.contrib.auth.models, we want to import group. Now this group is the same as this groups right here in our admin section. So what we want to do is unregister that. So let's say unregister groups. And to do that, we just go admin.site.unregister and then just pass in that group. So if we save this, head back over to the website, hit reload, boom, that group disappears. Very cool. So now, like I said, we've got this user, but it's got all this extra information that we don't wanna deal with right now. We don't wanna complicate things right at the beginning. Let's just get rid of all of this stuff and let's just keep the username. So we could do that, head back over, and up here where we import a group, we also wanna import user because user is the user we just set up and it's going to be all the users that sign up for our site. It's the basic user authentication that comes with Django right out of the box. User, it's the user model. So let's come down here and let's extend our user model. And to do that, we just want to create a class and I'm going to call it user admin because we're going to do stuff on the admin page here. And this is going to inherit admin.modeladmin. And the model we want to use here is our user model right? That's this guy up here that we just imported. And let's just display username fields on admin page. So to do that, we just create a variable called fields and set it equal to whatever we want. We want in this case, the username. So, okay, that does that. But by default, the user is already registered in our admin page. And we know that because when we come to the admin section, there it is, it's already there, it's already been registered. So we need to unregister it and then register it again now that we've made these changes. So to do that, super simple. Let's uh, unregister initial user. So to do that, we just go admin, again, dot site, 
dot unregister and pass in our user. Now this is exactly like what we did up here, right? And then let's say re-register user. So we just go admin dot site dot register. And then instead of user, we want user and user admin, which we just created right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, reload this. And then now when we click this, now it just says admin and it just has the username. So this will make things easier. We don't necessarily have to do this, but I know it's kind of interesting learning how to register and unregister and tweak these things in the admin section. So I thought, hey, we'd spend two minutes talking about it. Uh, so there we go. So we've got admin. Let's create a couple of new users just to have somebody to play around with. I'm going to create Bob, save and add another. Let's also create April, save and add another. Now when we go back to our users, we see there's April, there's Bob, and there's admin. Okay, so we've got some people to play with now. Now we need to extend the user model to add a profile, right? So every user that we have is going to have a profile because, you know, when you have a social media website, you always have a profile page, you have a profile and you want to be able to follow different profiles, different users. So we need to set up a profile model, so to speak, and extend that to our user model, sort of connect it to our user model. So we can do that. Let's head over to our models.py file in our Musker app here. And right now we don't have anything in there at all. So we need to import our user model because we need to extend it. So let's go from Django.contrib.auth.models. We want to import user. And let's create a user profile model. So we're going to create a class. I'm going to call it profile. Notice the P in profiles capitalized. You usually capitalize the first letter of your classes. And we want to import models.model. So here we need to associate this with our user. So let's create a variable called user. And we want to models.1 to one field. Now this will associate one user to one profile, one to one. Right? One user is not going to have many profiles. One profile is not going to have many users. They're each going to have one. So one to one field. And then what are we doing this on? We're doing this on our user. And then on delete, we want to models.cascade. And this just means if a user gets deleted, you want to go ahead and automatically delete their profile too. So it cascades down and deletes sort of everything underneath it, right? So, okay, that looks good. Now, we also want profiles to be able to follow, right? So you want to be able to follow different profiles. So this is going to be a models.many to many field. So profiles can follow many other profiles, right? In this one up here, one user has one profile. But here, one user, one profile might follow many different other profiles. So we use many to many field. Now, notice also the capitalization, both in one-to-one -one field and many-to-many -many field. Each sort of word is capitalized, many-to-many -many fields, so M-T-M-F, all capitalized, O-T-O-F, all capitalized. So that's important. Keep that in mind. And we start out with self, and let's just put these on separate lines because there's a few of them. So we want to create a related underscore name, and we'll use this later on to do stuff with this, right? So uh, it's just an easy way to keep track of it in the code later on. So we'll create a related name and I'm going to call it followed underscore by. So when we run a, a lookup a query to see who the people are following, we'll reference this followed by to see who this user is followed by, right? So that looks good. We also want to create a symmetrical and set that equal to false. So what this means is you can follow somebody and they don't have to follow you back, right? If I followed you and you had to follow me, that would be symmetrical. But we want to set that to false. We don't want that to be the case. We want it to be asymmetrical, right? So I can follow you. You don't necessarily have to follow me. You can, but you don't have to. So we'll set that symmetrical to false. And finally, we'll have blank equals to true because you don't have to follow anybody, right? You can have a Twitter account or a Musker account and not actually follow anybody. That'd be weird, but you could do it if you want. So blank is true. That just means you don't have to follow anybody. 
So, okay, that looks good. That should do the trick. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so we've made a major change to our model. We've added this entire new class. Anytime you make a major change to your model in Django, you need to migrate the server. So let's head back over to our terminal here and control C to break out of here. And to do this, we just go Python manage.py, like most commands in Django, Python manage.py. And then we want to make migrations, plural. We only did one thing, but we still have to make migrations. So, okay, we've got this little migration. And if we want, we can look at this. We don't really need to come over here to migrations. And there it is at 001. And you could see, you know, it's created the profile, given us an ID, follows, user, many to many, one to one, all the things we just did. It's sort of taken the Python code and turned it into SQL stuff that the database can use. So we've got our migration. Now we need to actually just push the migration. And to do that, we go Python manage.py migrate. Okay, good to go. So let's now Python manage.py run our server again. And let's head back over here and hit reload and see if anything has changed. If we click on admin, nothing has really changed. It doesn't seem like, right? So that's not great. We need to be able to follow people and do all of the things. So we need to import that profile thing we just created into our admin section. So head back over to our admin.py file. Here we go. And here at the top, we want to from dot models import profile. And again, that's just this guy we just created, right? So now we can sort of access all of that stuff in here. And we need to let's say register user and profile. So we need to register our profile. So let's go admin.site dot register and then pass in our profile. Now, strictly speaking, this will work. If we head back over here, we see now we have this profile section, but this isn't great because, eh, you know, we add a profile, admin, here's a thing for follows, save and add another one, one for Bob, okay. Eh. Now we have these things that look a little weird. We have this, when we click on it, nothing has changed here. So this is all very confusing, right? Well, for one thing, let's change this right off the bat so that we can actually read who these people are, right? So let's head back over here to our models.py file and inside of our class here, let's define underscore, underscore, str, underscore, underscore, pass in self. And then we just wanna return self, dot user dot username. Now if we save this and head back over here, hit reload, now it has the actual usernames listed. So, okay, this is getting better, but still we've clicked on profiles and we've got each of these things. Also, when we created a user, it doesn't automatically create a profile. Now we're gonna wanna do that. We'll do that in the next video. For now, we'll just limp along manually creating these. But the thing that really bothers me about this is we've got this users here and profiles here and the profiles go with users, right? So there shouldn't really be two things. We shouldn't have to toggle between these two things. I mean, we can, but that's kind of janky. Let's move this profile information into this user section and sort of all combine it so that when I click on April, we get her profile information as well as her username, right? So, and then we'll just get rid of this little profile thing right here. So we can go ahead and do that real easy. We just head back over to our admin section here. Here we go. And let's say mix profile info into user info, something like that, I don't know. So what we wanna do is create a new class and I'm gonna call this profile inline, something like this because we wanna move that profile information in line with our user stuff. So it's in the user section, so to speak, right? So we wanna inherit admin.stacked inline. And this stacked inline thing comes with Django, it's sort of built in, we could just use it. And then our model is our profile model, right? Now that will get it started. Now we need to come back here. Remember when we first set up our user and we took away all of the other fields, and we just left the username. Well, we also now want to add an inlines and set that equal to this thing down here we just created. Okay, and now down here where we registered profile, let's get rid of that because we don't want that section showing anymore. So 
go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload, this thing down here should disappear. Uh oh, we've got an error, we've got an error. Profile inline is not defined. Ah, doy. So we need to take this and move it up above this. There we go. Because here we're calling this and this was below it, so it, it couldn't read it. So, okay, that makes sense. Come back, hit reload. All right, so now when we log in here to our admin section, we have our users. Now, if we click on April, this stuff is added. Okay, so we see we can click on admin, profile is admin, go to April, their profile is April, go to Bob, their profile is Bob. And you can see they don't follow anybody. These, there are, all the names are listed, but we have to actually click on it and then click save. Now, if we go back to Bob again, you can see admin is highlighted. If we also click April and admin, save. And if we go back to Bob, these two things are things are, are highlighted. So if we want to unhighlight these things, we could do it like that, save and exit. Now Bob doesn't follow anybody, but we've got our users and we got our profiles and everything is set up. Okay, so we are moving right along. We've got users. We can add users on the back end by clicking this and adding them. We can we can through the back end if we brought back that profile section down here. For instance, if we came back here and re-registered our profile, we could come back here like click it like this, and then we could add profiles to new people. We don't want to do that because in the next video, we're going to set it up to where anytime you create a new user, they're going to get a profile automatically. We're not going to have to create one manually by clicking this little add profile thing. Uh, but for now, we've got three users with three profiles and just to play around, let me re-comment this out. Uh, we're good to go there. And so we're moving right along. So in the next video, we'll automate creating a profile when a user signs up, right? So as soon as you sign up, you'll get a profile and then we'll start to push all of this onto the website so you can actually do it on the website, uh, follow people on the website, unfollow people on the website, click on your profile, go to your profile page and all that good stuff. Start to look at all that in the next video and it should be a lot of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube 50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.